Hi, and welcome to DIY number three. Today I am gonna show you how to make some really super cute, super easy, super low budget uh, felt Christmas trees. They are, they're absolutely adorable. You're going to love them. And here's what you need. I'm just gonna tell you real quick because I'm going to write all of this down. It's gonna be in the description box underneath the video. So just click that little arrow down really fast and read it, but I'll give you a, a, just a brief uh, summary of what you need. You need some felt sheets. I use the acrylic craft felt sheets. They're like 30 something cents a piece. You're going to need some wooden dowels. I think they come in like 36 inches or something. I used three eighths, um, but you can use, you know, whatever size, maybe you've got one. I don't know. I actually had one, so that's why I use that. Or you can use uh, real sticks. If you want to go out and grab some real sticks, I did that. You'll see that in the video in the pictures that I, I also used wooden sticks. You're going to need a glue gun. You're going to need those wood slices. Um, they come in a bag. I got mine in Hobby Lobby. There's got to be 12 or maybe more than that in there for $4.99. It's like the biggest expense of the whole project. You're also going to need a, uh, a tack and a couple of uh, pins. For every tree, you're gonna need one straight pin. I know that's weird, but you'll see. And, uh, and a hammer. And you're only gonna need the hammer for a second, so uh, that's it. And there's also gonna be in the um, description down below there, a link to free printable Christmas trees. Mine are curly at the ends. If you wanna just do maybe some that go like this would look really cool. Uh, if you and if you're cutting by hand those little curly cues might be a pain so there's all different styles on there and then you can also put these into your Cricut design space if you're going to be using your Cricut. I used my Cricut maker to cut these and uh, you'll, you'll see the sizes are on the video and everything. So you know what let's just get started. So like I said, I used my Cricut Maker to cut these, and these are the approximate sizes that I made my trees. Um, you would need anywhere from two to five sheets of felt per tree, depending on which size you're cutting. So the small ones, you could probably get away with just two sheets. Uh, the mediums, two to three, and the larges, four to five sheets. And don't forget the link to the printables and SVG are in the description box. So now that we have all of our tree pieces cut, we're just gonna start with putting a little line of glue straight down the middle. And you wanna leave about an inch at the top for all those little pieces at the top will kind of just come together when you're done. So you're gonna lay your dowel right in the middle and just leave that space there at the top. And you're just gonna hold this down for you know not a long time because what you want is some flexibility to fold this felt in half pretty quick because you don't want it drying and wrapping around the dowel or stick. So I'm just going to do that again. We're going to do the same thing, a little glue down the middle here. And now we're going to lay the dowel with the, the folded end right by that glue so that there's not like a big gap where the felt will wrap around. You want kind of the creases in the middle to be mostly what's stuck to the stick. So I'm just gonna just add these, but I want you to stick with me here because I wanna show you that um, it's a little different when you do the last uh, tree. So just stay with me here for a second. Okay, it looks like we've just got two more to go here. So, when you get to the last piece, what you really need to do is make sure that you're just getting the crease in there. So what you do is you just wanna sort of hold that open and rather than putting the glue on the tree itself, you're gonna put it on the dowel like that. And then you're gonna fold the tree before you place it on the dowel, just because you really don't wanna get too much felt on there, you wanna kinda of stick to getting the middle of the trees on. See, so you just have that crease right there and that 
actually came out really good. <laughs> so I'm glad you got a good example there. So, you know, this is all personal preference. If you want taller dowels with like the smaller tree size or shorter ones with the bigger tree size, and I'll show you that at the end here. So now this is really important. I wanna just show you this real quick, a little trick I have. Take a straight pin and just gently sort of hammer it in here slightly. Just when you do it, take care to not get it all the way like through the wood because then it won't lay straight. So just make sure it hasn't come through like that. And then you just uh, flip this over here and we're gonna cut that. Listen, it goes flying. So just sort of aim it down because you don't want that you know, pinging off and hitting somebody in the eye. So now we're gonna take our tack and we're gonna put it into the dowel. And we're just gonna make a hole in here. And if you can't get it through there, it's just bang it on the counter if you have to, I've done that. And now we're just gonna take this out of here and fill it with a little bit of glue in the dowel. And we're gonna put it on the, uh, the pin. And what this is doing, is, um, giving you a little bit sturdier hold for the tree to stay in place. And so you just push it down, give it a little turn, because I feel like that like gets the extra glue out and wipe that glue away real quick with your finger. So as you can see, I used various sizes of felt and various sizes of dowels or sticks. And if I do use a stick, like an actual stick from outside, I give it a little spray of clear coat just because it makes it less like dirty and pieces don't fall off as easily. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you love those little Christmas trees as much as I do. I mean, they are really, they are really spectacular. And I think they would look really fabulous on like the dining table, like in different heights with some candles and pine. I think it'd be gorgeous. Don't put those candles too close to those felt trees though. <laughs> that could be a catastrophe. Um, anyway, if you do make some, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram and I would love a little thumbs up right there. And if you wanna leave me a comment, I'd be so happy to hear from you. And hopefully I will have a DIY number four coming up soon. And I hope to see you then. Thanks so much.